our agenda for making this office the best in the country. I want to also thank District Attorney Hines for his commitment to ensure a smooth transition over the next couple of weeks and months. We have a lot of work to do to protect the people of Brooklyn, to keep our neighborhood safe, to deal with the gun violence that's killing our children in the streets of Brooklyn, to deal with the issues of stop and frisk, and to deal with the wrongful convictions. I intend to build upon the very good work that DA Hines has done over the 23 years in office. And I thank him for his service. I thank the people of Brooklyn for thanking him for his many years of public service. Hi, Simon Gifter from uh, VinNews.com. Number one, uh, congratulations. Thank you. Um, now, you said in your, in your victory speech that your office will be an open-ended uh, justice system for sex abuse uh, victims. There have been reports in the last few days um, that a victim in Williamsburg in the Jewish community uh, in a sexual abuse case uh, who came forward was harassed in the synagogue during um, the Rosh Hashanah, the holiday. Um, now, how do you plan to assure sex abuse victims that come forward when they are shunned uh, in the community and harassed and threatened. Do you have a plan to combat that? Well, what we're going to do is we're going to treat any victim in Brooklyn, whether they're in the Orthodox Jewish community or any other community, who's a victim of witness intimidation and harassment, we're going to investigate any such claims. And if we find them credible, we're going to prosecute them. We're not going to base it on a particular community. We're one community here in Brooklyn, and I am determined to give us one standard of justice. So it doesn't matter whether you live in one community or another. If there's harassment, if there's any criminal acts being committed in Brooklyn, I intend to have a staff who are going to investigate them thoroughly and we're going to prosecute the warrant. Will your office have liaisons for different communities to bring their concerns to your office? That's something that we're looking for. If Bill de Blasio becomes the next mayor, do you feel your approach with stop and frisk and his approach with stop and frisk can clash? because his statements are, I'm just going to end it, where you're more moderate well, I don't believe and you that don't... Bill de Blasio said that. I believe that John Lewis said that, my friend. I don't believe that Bill de Blasio's call for the wholesale elimination of stop and frisk. That's what my understanding said. is the only mayoral, mayoral candidate to call for that was John Lewis. I believe that a mayor, de Blasio, I can work very closely with him because his goal is my goal, the same goal, which is to keep the people of New York safe and to make sure that everyone is treated fairly. So you're supporting de Blasio for mayor? I'm not supporting anyone. No, so initially, <laughs> stop and frisk. The chicken posters, do you think, like, what do you think of that? That, that, that I thought it was a little, um, let me say this. I don't believe that any such poster has a role in the campaign. I don't. 